Yep. We got the landing site, Gordo. Okay, hey, I'll Gordo, we got the landing site. We're coming right over the front of it. Stand by a minute. You can see the slide. I think you can see the great cross. Roger. We'll get a picture of America coming right across it. All righty. Super targeting. God, we've got the uh, family mountain. We've got the uh, course of Massif. We can see the scarf. We can see the light mantle. I've got the great cross. Camelot, Sherlock. Believe it or not, Houston, they're all there. How about that? I see uh, possible structure, possible structure in the upper part of the South Massif, uh, a little bit east of uh, Station Two. It's uh, sub-horizontal, dipping to the uh, southeast. Houston, I can even see Poppy right where we're going to set this baby down. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, Houston reach about and clear also.
You can see where we've been pounding on this rock. We uh, didn't succeed in getting samples everywhere. And I'm giving you a 90 degree corner. Bob, it looks to me like there are inclusions of blue gray in the Gabbro, in the anorthocytic Gabbro. You think this whole big blue gray thing is an inclusion? Yes, sir. And there's some little ones over here. Yeah, but then within the blue gray, we've got the, all these other fragments. Well, that's right. It's just several generations of uh, of activity. It looks like the Gabbro, though, picked up the uh, fragmental breccia as uh, inclusions. Bob, I'd, I'd really look that way right now. There's a... Okay, Charlie's here. I'm going to something about the, uh, him. Just like House Rock. It's very crystalline, I'll tell you. It's not a breccia, not like House Rock. Not to take anything away from House Rock, though. Hey, uh, Bob, there's a lot of... Uh, of man lane on a very shallow slope of a, of a fracture here on one of the uh, upslope blocks. I would assume it's just part of the tail is picked up as it rolled down, but if it's worth sampling, you might think about. Okay, uh, Gene, if you can get that fairly readily, why don't you, uh, you can... Perhaps just scoop it up with the bag. That's exactly what I can do. If you can get up to the rock, there. And uh, it'll be in my, it'll be in my flight line stereo, and it's going to be bag five five seven. And I'll take an after and show you where it came from. Okay, copy that. It's the easiest part of the rock in the world to work. Man, here's a big, here's a big white class. There's one on top, about a foot and a half across, and here's one must be two feet across. Three feet. And that's in the blue gray. You're like a kid playing in a sandbox. Well, Bob, I, uh, I think I've done the best I can. I would, uh, I'd say that there are pretty clearly inclusions of uh, blue-gray in the uh, anorthocytic gabbro here near the contact. Okay, and Gene, your bag is hanging by one hook there. Be careful, if you can. Okay. Or LMP. Okay, either. and uh, I gave you 557, five, I believe, didn't I? Roger, we have that one. And whoever is giving us 557... Five, okay, I'll have you so, fix my bag. Yep. Okay, Bob, by accident, I didn't think I could do it, but I got a sample of the inclusion. And it's uh, in bag 539. Hey, Jack, that's your bag that's hanging by one hook. Let me go get it. Oh, they're talking to me, huh? Yeah, because yep. I, I didn't think they could see me. I'm way up on top. And it, it's... Uh, Blue gray with light colored, uh, put these in my bag. Inclusions in it. All right. But the whole thing seems to be pretty well altered or meta metamorphosed. <sighs> Compared to the major rock we just sampled, to the other blue gray rock. Get yeah, this bag, it's terrible. I can't, it won't latch. And there's a dark hole in there. Hey, don't, don't let me, uh, Uh, I, I'm not, it's, here's another bag to put in there before you go away. Oh, okay. It won't latch. Well, not at this angle. Just put the thumb on one side and I'll no, it's, it. it's dead or something. There, that's pretty good. Now let me fix your bag. Okay, hey, Bob, I think that inclusion will give you uh, uh, an example of what uh, what this thing 
what the North City Gabbro did to the uh, Blue Gray Brecha. Okay, we copy that, and uh, we're ready for you guys to leave this rock and uh, press on and either get the rake soil and uh, cores near that crater down below the rock, just a shade, or else to go on to some other different variety of rocks in the area. Well, I tell you, going down to that crater is not a problem. Getting back up is. Uh, okay, well, find a decent area to get the rake soil what, from. Gene, and uh, I could go down floor. there and start a rake, and you could come down there. Okay, I yeah, I don't think you ought to try and walk back up, Jack. Let me get a pan from right here where I got this sample. Okay, I'm going to come over, and uh, I'll go get uh, the rake. 17, and, uh, it's not that to vital to get to that crater. Uh, we just need a good place for a rake soil and a double uh, single core. Hey, get uphill a little bit, if you can, for the pan, so that you don't... Uh, so you see my other uh, band station. Where was it? It was over there in that crater just uphill from the rover. Yeah, well, I'm going up there. Hey, and 17, we aren't really all that gung-ho about that particular crater, if it's that much of a job to get down to it and back up. Uh, just We just need a decent place for a rake soil sample and a single core. Okay. Bob, we don't want to move around from here too much. I'll tell you, these slopes are something else. Uh, we agree with that from what we've seen on television, so use okay. your judgment and get them where it's the best place. Well, you might take a look at me walking up, and I don't think I could get to the top. I just got to get a place I can get a pan from right here. Right in this little hole. Okay, now I left the Noman down there. Okay, I'll have to go get it. I think we set up right here near the uh, rover. I think I'll go and save some water back on intermediate. Okay. Copy that. I hope my lens is clean. Bob, well, from up here, the uh, light mantle is not evident until you see the... Uh, Angular reflection up on the scarp. Uh, very thin light patches might be evident out on the valley, but not nearly as pronounced as I might have thought from this uh, altitude. Okay, Gene, you going to go to the rover and change your mag now? Well, uh, Jack's going to need some help from me. Okay. Let me know. I when you start, I'm starting to rake. Let me know when you get to the uh, rover to change the mag. Jack, After you get done with that, and I'll tell you what mag to change. But press Jack, on and help you Jack. Film, I'll just come and help you. Okay. Okay. Yep. 
Remind me to dust my camera, too, will you? Okay. Don't forget to dust your camera. We'll keep track of that for you, Gene. Gene Cernan took that tumble. Okay. Oh, man, if this rover wasn't here, we'd roll down hill. Hey, uh, Bob, I think we could use an upper here if you want to save the lowers. I think so, too. Whichever you want. You want your... Uh, no, I get it. Why don't you get your 500 now? Okay, but you want a core? Watch the fender. The core's in there, isn't it? Well, there's some in uh, under my seat if you want to use I'll those. I'll use those. Uh, stand by, Jack. We have uh, three those. lowers and two uppers, so we just as soon use the extra lower here in the single core. That'll give it two uppers and two lowers left. Okay. Double. There uh, should be a lower in there, Jim. Yep. Bob, any special place you want that just out here in the slope? That's the sure, just the out there. Up. Up. Well, I guess if you saw a crater, you don't might look at that, but primarily either. we're looking at the crater. I'll get it. I'll get it, Jack. Good work. Okay. We got a couple of dents in our fence, in our wheels. It's better than having a flat tire.
Cameron's plane, the magazine Foxtrot, is on uh, about frame two when I've cycled through it, and I've got the coil all set, and I'm going to go get it, and I didn't hear where you said to put it, Bob. Anywhere. Oh, man, you're easy. And it's Anywhere, camp. not it's the bottom camp. of a small crater, huh? Any place. And if you get your camera dusted. Yeah, I, yeah. I got it all dusted and I've got a mag change. Good. It's 448. Copy that. Can you get the lamp from there? Very easy, Bob. I pushed it in about a quarter of the way, in about another five or six whacks, and it's in all the way. Yeah, 
No, it's just sneak it up. That's all. Come and let you lean on me. Oh, I got it. Six seven zero one zero nine eight zero one. Six seven zero one zero nine eight zero one. Okay, we copy that. I wish we uh thing I didn't do while you're doing that do didn't get pictures of those foliated vesicles I don't think the ones that you had they were in that kind of rock I don't want to lose that thing so I guess Okay, and 17, when you get back on here, we don't need any charges, and we'll leave the SEP turned off. I'm not sure. Did you turn it off, Gene? Yeah, I turned it off. Woo! Oh, boy. Bob, I'm on frame count uh, 85. Copy 85 for the commander. Fuck that one. Good. I, I forgot. I got Epson skiing. <laughs> Can't keep my edges.